lesson is about the practical to investigate how light intensity affects the rate of photosynthesis in green plants. The learning outcomes for this lesson is to investigate how the rate of photosynthesis can be investigated by measuring the release of the waste gas of photosynthesis, oxygen, from a water plant. Oxygen is one of the byproducts of photosynthesis. So if we measure the rate of oxygen release from a plant, we should be able to measure the rate of photosynthesis. Normally, it is difficult to measure the rate of oxygen production, but if you use an aquatic plant, such as this pondweed, you can see the bubbles of oxygen release from the stem. By counting how many bubbles are released per minute, it gives us an indication of the rate of oxygen production and therefore the rate of photosynthesis. As light intensity increases, rate of photosynthesis should increase too, as there is more light energy available to be converted into chemical energy in glucose. We increase light intensity by moving the lamp nearer to the pondweed. Light intensity is the independent variable. The rate of oxygen production is the dependent variable. In this experiment, we're going to look at how light intensity affects the rate of photosynthesis. And we're going to use our pondweed for that. So we have pondweed in here. We've got a large beaker of water. We have a glass funnel, a boiling tube, a light to change the light intensity, the meter rule to measure how far the light is away from the pondweed, because that's how we're going to change the light intensity. And we've got sodium hydrogen carbonate here. And we're going to put the sodium hydrogen carbonate, one spatula full of that, into the water to ensure that there is enough carbon there to make the carbon dioxide so that the um, plant has enough carbon dioxide for photosynthesis, because we don't want that to emit it. We need to make sure it's just the light intensity that is changing the rate of photosynthesis. So we will put a spatula of this sodium hydrogen carbonate into the water. So what we're going to do is going to take the pondweed. And we're going to put it into the beaker of water. Now, what we need to do to make sure that we can actually see the bubbles of oxygen being released from the pondweed is that we need to snip the end of the pondweed off because otherwise the pondweed will have scabbed over because it's been exposed to the air when it was being collected and so therefore it won't release oxygen from there and that's where we're going to be looking for for the bubbles of oxygen. So now that's been cut underwater so it doesn't sort of seal over again, we can then put the glass funnel over the top to hold that cut end upright. And then we need to make sure there's enough water to cover the tip of that funnel. Because what we're going to do then is we're going to focus the bubbles up into a boiling tube. So what we do is we fill a boiling tube with water and then we invert it over the top of the funnel. And then hopefully we will be able to see the bubbles coming up into the boiling tube. Now I've got the apparatus set up with the meter rule and the lamp and the pondweed underneath the glass funnel and the gas being collected in the boiling tube, we need to make sure that we make the room as dark as possible so that we are trying to control all of the light from the lamp. To do that, we will need to black out the room by pulling down the blackout blinds and turning off the lights. This plant is 0 centimetres away from the lamp. Count the number of bubbles produced in 30 seconds and double to find the number of bubbles released in one minute. Then record this in a results table.
This plant is five centimetres away from the lamp. Do as before and count the number of bubbles produced in 30 seconds. Then double to find the number of bubbles released in one minute and record this in your results table. This plant is 10 centimetres away from the lamp. Do as before, count the number of bubbles produced in 30 seconds, double this and record it in your results table. This plant is 15 centimetres away from the lamp. Count the number of bubbles produced in 30 seconds, double it and record it in your results table. And finally, this plant is 20 centimetres away from the lamp. Again, count the number of bubbles produced in 30 seconds, double it and record it in your results table. You should have recorded your results in a table similar to this one. Hopefully what you found out is that as the lamp is moved further away from the plant, the number of bubbles of oxygen released per minute decreases. This is because as the lamp is moved further away, the light intensity is decreasing. And as the light intensity decreases, there is less light energy available to be converted to chemical energy in glucose. And so, the less light energy, the slower the rate of photosynthesis.